guys, welcome back to another video. Another day, another dollar, or is it another day, another fish? I don't know, but um, anyway, we're, we're back out here on the stream and I'm doing the intro just a little bit late here. It, I've been fishing probably for about two hours. It's gonna be a nice sunny day. I don't know how that's gonna affect the fishing. So far, the fishing's been pretty good. And um, we're just gonna kinda continue to work our way up through here, but it's April 2nd and today is a Friday. Seems like yesterday and today are those two weird days that we always get in April where like winter just doesn't wanna let go. So we got a little bit of snow yesterday. You guys can see some snow on the ground here and uh, it's pretty cold out. Yesterday it was like in the 30s. Today it's supposed to go up to only about 40, 41, I think. But right now it's pretty cold. There's gonna be like a 10 to 20 mile per hour bursts of wind here and there. But so far it's been pretty manageable. I've just been, you know, when the wind blows, I just kind of, you know, take my rod out, stand there, wait for it to calm down, continue up through. And like I said, we've caught uh, plenty of fish already, so. But I'm kind of curious to see how the, the sun will affect because the, you know, the sun's starting to hit the stream here a little bit and we'll see what's gonna happen. But I don't wanna waste too much more time now, so let's go ahead and get into the fishing. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, helps my videos reach more people. And then uh, at the end of the video, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, any suggestions for future videos. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we are making our first couple casts of the day. I actually already hooked a fish, but he popped off before I could get the GoPro on. It looked like he was on the little stone fly that I'm running, stone pheasant. Right now I'm actually running three flies. So I'm running the stone fly on the point and then I'm running a little egg trailer off that. And then on the tag, I get the simple betas. Really, really, really waiting for that sun to come out. We're in this little cold spell. Today should be like the last probably cold day of the year well super cold day of the year at least as you guys can see it's april 2nd to friday and we got snow on the ground so that's always fun there's a nice uh cool breeze in the air so my hands are freezing but once that sun comes around the mountains there we should uh we should be good it's supposed to go up to about 41 not the warmest day by any means but I think once that sun hits the water, since there's been a little bit of a cold spell, that'll really uh, get the fish feeding again. All right, <clears throat> there's a fish. All right, so I believe that fish was on the stone fly, but I cannot, for some reason, I think my net is literally frozen. Like the two magnets are frozen together. I tried pulling it off. I literally could not pull it off, but this is our first fish that we landed. Not a bad little uh, brownie, probably about 12 inches. And there he goes. Now I got to see what's going on with my net. I got snagged up on something so i ended up just taking off the egg since nothing was taking the egg and now i'm just running the stone fly with the betas so we'll see that's two fish on the stone fly so far the first one like i said he got off before i could turn the gopro on There we go, right at the end of that run. And I believe that was another stonefly taker. Little fish. I was able to get him in a little quicker that time. My net wasn't frozen shut, or er, frozen together. There we go. Another stone fly eater. Where there is one fish, there is more fish. So we're gonna fish this run a little bit longer here.
My fish was uh, using that current to his advantage. He made me think he was a lot bigger than he was. And there he is. Nice little dark one. I knew there had to be one over there. It just looked too good. I mean, if I caught a fish down there, or two fish down there actually, then there's no reason there wouldn't be one sitting up in here. Just a matter of getting the right grip. That guy was actually sitting right up in that riffle. And he's also on the stonefly, it looks like. Not a bad little fish. Another one right up in there. First cat, that's two casts in a row. This actually looks like a little better fish. All right, so the past few fish, I've went over there and tried to film, and I don't know, I just, it's a weird place to go over there and film them, so they keep getting away without like a really good shot of them. And I don't wanna waste time if they're eating. Uh, so we're only gonna film uh, on the, the good camera if it's like a really good fish. Anything else, we're just gonna show on the GoPro. Because, like I said, if, if they're in the bite window right now, I don't want to waste time going over there to film them. It's kind of hard to get the camera in and out, too, when your, your hands are frozen. Once it warms up a little bit, if they're still biting, it'll be much easier to get that camera out. And we can get a little bit more on film. They seem to be all up in here. I mean, I was, so let's give it another cast up in here. Oh, that's a snag. There's another one. All right, that fish popped out before I could see what he was on, but I actually believe he was on the tag nymph and the tag nymph is an olive quill. There we go. Right on the swing. Didn't even feel that fish. Yeah, that fish is on the olive quill. So that makes me think that that last fish was also on it. Nice spots on him. They are stacked in this run eating right now. Another one. Look at the tail on that guy, all red. That's not a bad little fish. There we go. Oh, he just popped off. I honestly might, I only, I had two size 12 stoneflies and that's what they were on this morning. I got a size 10 on right now. Same weight though, just a size bigger hook. I might actually throw a size 14 pheasant tail on because I think that'll look a little similar. And I think that'll 
I think this one might be just a tad too big for their liking, especially now with that sun shining. You know, they have a little better look at it. And uh, I think if we downsize, maybe we'll be better off. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off here. We're gonna get a size 14 pheasant tail on there. All right, we are back up in business. Size 14 pheasant tail and still running the olive quill on the tag. first fish in a little bit fished up through some slow water here and didn't get really anything and uh, as soon as we're starting to get up here more towards this run that's another fish pretty little fish right there in front of me, right where I was getting ready to walk up to. Yeah, they seem to be pretty pushed up into these runs. I'm actually surprised. I didn't know if they were gonna be in the run since uh, this cold spell is kind of pushed through. Nice chunky fish on the uh, size 14 pheasant tail. That actually might be, that could be the best fish of today so far. That's like a, Good 15 inches, actually. Nice fish. Little guy. fish I believe he's on the stone or the 14 pheasant tail though oh just popped off there we go I had a feeling there was a fish over in there there it is we got it done on the lead lotus time to take it off i'm just kidding <laughs> we're gonna keep it on but there it is finally on film the lead lotus is on the board all right i actually thought that was a snag Turns out it is a fish. <clears throat> Pretty little fish. Stay out of there. Try to get him in quick so he wouldn't spook anything else over there on the pheasant tail. There is one, working his inner seam as I walk up. That was a little pheasant tail eater, beautiful little fish. Oh, almost got caught up on that bridge. <clears throat> I didn't even know he was on. I wanted to go pull my line out of the water and he was on there. Another pretty little fish.
not a bad size fish. Oh. oh wait, I thought he popped off, but he didn't. I gotta re-manage my line here though. There we go. I don't know what happened there. I thought he popped off and then uh, it ended up that he didn't. I think my line slipped through my hand and it just felt like the line went slack. Oops, there he goes. Nice fat little fish. So I switched out the tag nymph again. Now I'm running a size 16 Paragon. It's like this olive Paragon that I came up with and it has like a copper bead and a copper butt. I've never seen one like it before, but it just seems super fishy in my mind. So giving that one a test and then also running the 14 pheasant tail and there's a fish. <clears throat> I actually, I could not see what that fish was on, like fully, but I believe he was actually on that new Perdagon, which wouldn't surprise me, because like I said, it just seemed like a very fishy looking fly. There we go. This might be the best fish of today. Maybe. He's definitely good size. All right, guys, there's that beauty we just caught. Nice red adipose and tail on him. I'll show you guys here if he decides to cooperate. Beautiful colors on this guy. He's a feisty little guy. That's just a beautiful trout. I'm gonna go ahead and get an underwater release of him. All right guys, that fish got away actually before I could uh, get the underwater shot of him, but I'll tell you what, I'm just having bad luck with the camera today. I <laughs> set it down on the bank and then I went to go get up and I tripped and splashed water all over it. Thankfully it's all right, but having a tough time getting like good B-roll and stuff like that. So. I think I'm just going to stick to the GoPro for all the fish and then, you know, maybe later today I'll try to get some uh, B-roll and stuff like that because, like I said, it's just not going good for me, so. But, I mean, the fish are eating, so we're just going to continue at it. No complaints with the fishing, just my camera situation right now, it's just not working out for me today. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I gave it a shot here. I fished two good runs. And I mean, this is a bigger stream, so the runs are pretty big. I picked up three fish, two browns, and a little rainbow. I couldn't tell if it was like fresh stocked or if it was like a holdover. It could have been a fresh stocker rainbow because part of the stream is stocked, just not the section that I'm fishing in now. Um, this section is actually open. So I, I don't know, but it looked like a holdover to me or possibly wild, just really beat up. But yeah, caught those three fish, had a heck of a morning, headed out, got some lunch and uh, it just hit me really hard. Like <laughs> I barely got any sleep last night and it's just really kicking in now. I think it's probably about four o'clock. So, I mean, I fished a good bit. Um, I just, there's no way I'm making it three more hours. My back's killing me. And I gotta drive a good ways back. So we're just gonna cut it short here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, uh, I had a fun time this morning. That was the first time that I've really found fish like, you know, sitting up at the head of runs waiting for those nymphs to come down. So that was, uh, that was good to see. And we picked up a lot of fish, so no complaints. But that's gonna be it for this one. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. It helps my videos reach more people and keeps my morale up. Let's me know that you guys like these videos and wanna see more. And then uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future or any suggestions for future videos, just let me know. And until next time, peace.